want to. I, I am talking not to you guys. I'm using the town square about item 14, about how our input on item 14 is disregarded. This is the reason why Daily News said no on one and no on two. Do not give these people a fourth term where they're elected, Ms. But, but, Ms. but they're not Ms. challenged. I'm not okay, I'll withdraw. The I'll city withdraw. attorney is a for This yes, discussion is better reserved for general public comment. Okay, I'm talking about item 14. You should pay more attention and be as polite to us on item 14 as you wish for us to be polite to you on item 14. Thank you for giving me my right to speak in the town square to whomever I want to. Thank you. Thank you. For the record, Mr. President, this is a limited public forum and it's not a town square. For the record, it is a limited public forum. It's not a town square. Next speaker. Thank you, it's Eric Previn, uh, city resident from Studio City and also a candidate in the CD2 uh, election with Mr. Krikorian. This is a CD9 matter, item 14. And this is one of 20 matters today that are on the similar subject. Six are lighting districts, but 14 of these matters are actually uh, going after liens on people's property. And we do that with some regularity down here. Uh, this group, the guy came down, spoke very briefly and said, I'm a tenant. Uh, this is a serious problem for me and my family. And Mr. Price, very courteously, I have to say, stepped over, swooped in, and then um, they are going to continue it three weeks. Now, the, the question about the continuances is, uh, this is like delaying the guillotine over somebody's head and letting them think about whether or not they want to come up with, in this case, because this was the biggest one, it's $8,500. Now, the initial fine was just a couple hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, but what happens with these fines, sir, and I'm sure you've looked at this one closely, is there's a 250% um, markup immediately if you miss 15 days, and then another 15 days. And then it kind of quadruples. I mean, this guy's facing $8,000. Now, Mr. Price, to his credit, is trying to intervene, but he asked this group, and it's building and safety inspection or something like that. And they uh, say, well, we'll, and then somebody said, oh, I'll help you, I'll help you. And here's the problem. In my district, CD2, there's a, one on Rainier Street, and I came down to advocate on it because I had asked the group to help out, and this guy, poor guy's getting hammered for stuff that was put in an alley by someone else. And they said, we'll look into it. But then they've continued, continued, continued. And as we all know, uh, those continuances don't really help. They just make it, delay it, defer it. So this whole process, I think, needs to be looked at closely by the councilmen, uh, members, and Ms. Martinez, of course, that was not intentional. And, and we need to do it urgently because it's sending a signal to the residents of Los Angeles City that we are a pest that needs to be tagged with fees and fines, and it's not appropriate. These are the less fortunate folks who are frequently getting tagged. I think Mr. Walsh makes the point it's more in the east side. You know, let's, let's get this done, Mr. LaVange. Before you go, sir, where'd you go to high school? Come on, Marshall, hi. let's do Thank it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. No other cards on this item? That is correct. And again, there's...